Hey, howdy, hey! Yeehaw Kitty here, and today I am going to be jumping into some Palia. Uh, this game is in a beta right now. Um, I'm not- I think it's an open beta? I don't know, I just signed up on the website after seeing a TikTok, and I've been totally obsessed with this game. Uh, so I decided, let's go ahead and make a YouTube video on it, so that I can get my daily grind in. Um, while also being a little productive, you know, making a, some new content for you guys. So it is a beautiful game. We got some people fishing here, and one of my faves, Einar. So let's go ahead and talk with him. Oh, I didn't see you there. I would say I feel startled, but that would be a lie. So let's go ahead and chat with Einar. We have to find stillness, create pain to relieve pain. Thank you, Einar. Is this the dragonfly Ani gave me? Let me check it out. Ooh, a jewel wing dragonfly. A dragonfly with wings as bright and colorful as any precious stone. Found near a cave entrance on a cliff in Bahari Bay. A specimen so fine, it's fit for display. So true. Uh, but you can see kind of where I'm at right now. Apparently I'm level 37. Uh, didn't even notice. And then here are where my skills are at. I'm fishing level 7, close to level 8. We are level 4 cooking, level 5 gardening, level 5 mining, level 5 hunting, level 5 and a half bug, bug catching, uh, level 7 foraging, and level 6 in furniture making. And you see these little portraits here are the uh, characters that are <clears throat> kind of associated with those skills and who have shops where you can buy recipes and, th and things from. Um, but yeah, so right now I am going to look at the relationships we have so you can see uh, when you get to these different levels of friendship you get like keys to their rooms um, and you get like different quests to do so I think Badru we have a carrot for him in our inventory so let's see I don't know if he's awake yeah he's sleeping but you know let's go see if we can chat with him while he's asleep sometimes you can sometimes you can't when you have a quest you definitely can uh, that's a cricket you hear jumping around. But yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with this game and playing it a whole lot. Hope your day is going better than Let's mine. See. Hopefully you have something interesting to say. I'm so bored. <laughs> My mom actually tried to open up to me the other day, if you can believe it. She said the reason she pushes so hard is that she had all these dreams as a kid she never fulfilled. So she's trying to give me a head start. She just doesn't get it. She's trying to give me a head start to the life she wanted, and not the one I want. So Hello. true, Kenyatta. But yeah, so we'll get to know all the different people. I like to chat with all the villagers, just chatting with them, you grow those relationships. And I want to be friends with all of my little village buddies. Hello, hello! You have caught me at just the right time. I wanted to let you know, little Steve is doing well. Steve is a beetle, by the way. Uh, she asked for help naming him. He's eating all the food I provide him, and he even seems to be forming a bit of a romance with Leaf. Ooh! Saucy. I don't think we have anything that you like. Would you like a cicada? Oh, she liked that one. Let's go. Yeah, she uh, is kind of a conspiracy theorist, and uh, she's silly goofy, Eloisa. We love her. Honestly, I like a lot of the characters in this game but it's not about that right now we've got to give Badru his carrot also I don't know if I'm pronouncing the game title right or any of these villagers names I'm just figuring out you know going on a whim with these pronunciations so um, and then as you can see it's on the server with other players doing their thing <gasps> Let's talk to Nail. Hi, Nail. Stop by the farm sometime. My mom keeps bragging about me because I tracked down Esh's Rift Rock after it escaped last month. I wish she would knock it off. It's super embarrassing. Mom needs my help. Gotta go. It's all good, Nail. Just take the compliment. Let's see. Audru. Nope. Okay. We'll have to wait until morning. And these are Ormus. I want one, but I don't think we can get them yet. 
So let's go ahead and go home and I'll just show you guys my house. It's kind of cute. Um, and then what kind of operations we got going on. Gotta, you know, do our dailies. We're going to go and harvest any crops. We got a glowworm farm because- oh, I'll show you that real quick. Let me just sprint over here. But isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. For a beta, she's everything. And we can catch these bugs. I'm just not worried about that right now because I don't need a bunch of the same like common bugs. But what we are really working on right now is you can see on the right side of the screen like our quests that we've got. Um, oh, we got another one. What was this? Oh, 500 ore. Okay. So we're looking for a Shep. We have to be level 4 friendship with someone and it takes forever, but we are working on it. Then we have a- and this is from Ash. Uh, then we have a quest from Tish to discover Reth's secret, because she's keeping a secret from- or Reth is keeping a secret from Tish, and we gotta figure that out. Uh, so we gotta get more friendly with Reth. And then Hodari, we have a quest to get him some iron ore. Um, but- the big overarching thing that we're working on while we're doing all of these little quests, like these side quests, is this bad boy. And we are trying to collect all these different things to um, hopefully unlock some more story and stuff. And as you can see, like if we go back here, we need glowworms to catch the void ray, and we also need glowworms to fish up this sushi recipe and we need glow worms for this giant goldfish I think I need to befriend Einar to get the recipe for the trout dinner and then also glow worms for the unicorn fish so we're getting close to done with the bundle here uh, but we gotta grind out the glow worms and my god it is not efficient let me tell you and this is Hecla she's my one of my faves how can I care for you today do not distract me I am monitoring Gina's breathing patterns. So what true, Hecla. And then this is Gina right now. She's kind of my bestie. You've ever made. Huh? Look at you. Not letting all those centuries of being wherever you were keep you from enjoying your new life. Don't worry too much if you notice Hecla looking at you a little funny. She knows we're getting closer and she's just a little protective. She's afraid you'll hurt my feelings. But her don't worry. I know you won't. Also, at level three, 3 friendship, you can start romancing people. Um, so I'm at level 3 friendship with Gina. Ani is a child, so you cannot romance him. Um, Delilah is married, so you can't romance her. Um, but most other people are kind of fair game, besides like Kenley and Ash, because that's the mayor and his wife. Uh, so there's a couple people that you cannot romance. Um, but yeah, so I could start romancing Gina, but I'm kind of thinking, like, my two options. Tamala, she's everything. Tish, I could start romancing. She was my OG. I was thinking about it, but I'm like, I don't know, Tamala, she's an alchemy witch lady, and she's kind of everything. Um, and she's just, like, mysterious, you know? So I kind of want to, kind of, Tamala's, like, kind of my front runner right now. Tish is still very cute, and then Einar, our fishing robot, he's just so silly goofy, and I love him, so, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, but I think Tamala's gonna be my lover, you know? Alright, but, anyway, back to our home. Also, I'm gonna try to make this video not super long, um, so I might, you know, chop it up a little bit more than my other videos usually are, uh, but I can- I will literally play this game when I am off for hours a day. And I don't think we need hours long videos right now. I have been thinking of also streaming, uh, getting into that, and streaming some Palia. Because then I could just be grinding on stream and chatting with y'all. I feel like that could be fun, so I'll maybe figure out how to start doing that. So we're going to run to our house. Ooh, maybe we'll get grab some copper on the way. Nice. All right. Grab 
grab some more copper. You can never have enough materials. Especially copper, because I need it to repair my tools. Take a little... Whoop. And you can see there's climbing in this game. We also... I don't think I... Did I use it yet? I don't know. We have this little glider. Uh, so we can kind of fly around a little bit if we jump off a cliff or something. Also, no fall damage in that in this game. Very nice, very nice. There's also obviously a day-night cycle, so you're seeing different creatures during the day and at night. Different bugs and different fish. Oh, Nao! Are you lost? Good, you're here. So, like, I think Ani's gonna run away. Ooh. Let's see. That explains the camping gear. Crap, he's already got the gear? Come on, Ani. He's been acting super weird lately, getting lately getting mad at stuff for no reason and storing off into his room all the time. I know I shouldn't snoop, but he was worrying me, and when I asked about it, he wouldn't tell me. So I kinda read his diary. Ooh. Before you say anything, I feel bad about it too, but I'd never be able to forgive myself if Ani got hurt. Especially because of me. So, what do you think I should do? Spend more time with him. You're right. If he wants to run away because he thinks I don't like him, I'll just have to prove him wrong. Whew. Okay. Thanks, Yeehaw. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm no to problem, Nao. And we got mail! It's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. Mail! Dear Yeehaw, I'm surprised to find myself admitting this, but you seem to actually be capable enough to handle a proper hunter's bow. Come see me for the recipe. Alright, well... We'll see you later, Hossie, huh? and I'm not in a hurry for you, though. But we got a nice fat harvest. Nice harvest. So this is our little garden. And we're growing all these veggies to- oh, inventory full. Alright, let's go ahead and... Put that in there. Okay, let's just store everything and then... No, we want that carrot. Well, we can get another carrot, it's fine. So we're just storing things away. See, we have ten glowworms right now. And, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and finish harvesting. Ooh, we're gardening level six. Good thing we're already on our way to talk to Badru and give him a carrot. Alright, now, seed maker. I'm gonna throw this stuff in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see, we got onion and cotton already going. Let's do some, let's do a carrot. And then let's put in, I guess, wheat for the next thing. Alright. And man, let's also, <clears throat> let's go into the storage, and then crops, and grab another carrot for Badru, and then let's see. So, we want to hoe these little dirt patches, so we can plant some more crops. And then, with gardening in this game, there are benefits to uh, not putting all like the same vegetable together. So I go through and kind of try to strategically- ooh, we got a carrot seed. Strategically place my crops so we get benefits and, you know, get more out of it. So we got- you can see the different buffs. like. Potato gives weed prevention, the onion has water retain, oh, the tomato has weed prevention and quality boost, you see, you know, so on and so forth. So we've got those next to each other, so let's see, we don't have a carrot in this mess, so let's put carrot here, potato, I'll probably speed this part up, just because it's going to take a sh minute, so let's see. Alright, not the most diverse planting ever, but it'll work. Let me go ahead and fill my watering can up first. Oh 
water all in plants. Also, here's my cute little house from the outside. She's cute, she's cute. We have a modification bench. We've got a little crafting bench. A bunch of storage chests all around. This, we craft planks, we smelt things. We got four iron ore. We need one more for Hudari. This is a loom. We craft fabric and leather and things. Obviously we make seeds with our seed maker. This is for making glass and like light bulbs. This is our normal worm farm and our glow worm farm, which we got nine glow worms from. So we're making some progress. Let's go ahead and we got a bunch of mushrooms. Those are easy. So let's put some moral mushrooms in there and start making glow worms. But you see, this takes forever. So that's an hour to process one mushroom. And my gosh. It's just, it's just so inefficient to get glowworms. And you need so many glowworms to try and get these rare fish and things. But it's okay. Anyway. And then this is my little tent. So these chests you can find out in the world. And um, they give you like little goodies. Uh, and then I like to collect them. So this is my little like chest wall in my tent. Uh, here's my trash can here that I fished up, my anvil for repairing tools, you know, my cute little seating area. Um, let me go ahead and water these real quick, and then I'll give you a house tour. Six AM hit, so we got another big hop. Okay, so if you guys saw all of those, uh, plants pop up ready for harvesting. It's because it hit 6 a.m. and uh, that's kind of like the start of the day. And so we got another fat harvest to harvest. So let's grab our new crops. Tons of stuff. And let's see. We have a tomato and a potato seed. Let's go ahead and throw all these in here just to get them out of the way. Okay. Let's do that. And. Okay. Gotta go through the storage. And then we'll go ahead and plant these and then come back later. To plant our other seeds that are cooking. See, we got a carrot, so let's put a potato down. And a tomato. We'll put it in the corner. Alright. And then we'll water these bad boys. And it'll be time for a house tour! Also, we got some more mail. But house tour time! So. You walk in, we've got our little dining table, little clock, you know, a little coat hanger moment. And then we have our little kitchen here where we can do cooking. Maybe we'll cook something. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Loaded potato soup. Love that in real life. What is this? Bacon. Oh, I haven't made bacon before. Okay, okay. Potato. Oh, easy, easy clap. Okay, let's make some loaded potato soup. I haven't made this one before, so let's go ahead and get at it. So we got a lot of prep. Let's go here. Bake the bacon. Okay, we have to chop meat first. And we're on a timer for this bad boy. 
So we're gonna make it first chopping onions. Easy clap. Okay, now let's prep this garlic. You can see that timer running. We gotta complete all these steps to successfully make our loaded potato soup. Then chop the meat. Ah, fuck. Got a little too excited. Oh, this one's so slow. Stop it. Fuck! Oh, we gotta go stir. Boop. Stir, 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 stir! No! What is going on? Oh, God. I've never made this before. I didn't realize it was so high stakes. Success. Okay, we still did it. I think we got two instead of the three soups that we usually would get. But that's fine. Now we know how to make it properly. Anyways, cute little flower vase. Uh, I think Jell gave this to me. Uh, little pots and pans, cute little kitchen. Fished up that little thing up there. A uh, little bookcase I also fished up. Um... And then you can see people talking to the chat. Uh, this is a Cernuck head. They're the little, like, deer creatures that go around. Uh, you get it for being, like, for hunting all the different types. And this is, like, the special Cernuck. That's how they kind of look. They're, like, magical. It's crazy. Uh, little bed area. Little leaf hopper in there. And then our little living room area. She's cute. She's cute. Little bookcase. You know got a cute little house and you can expand your house um you just have to pay for rooms and they're very expensive but let's check our new mail that makes us wag our tail Badru, dear yeehaw you know what they say about crops you can never water them too much actually that isn't true you can't be too careful about that anyway i've got a brand new watering can recipe for sale that will get them just the right amount of water very cool and nio dear yeehaw so I took your advice and I asked Ani if he wanted to go camping this weekend. I don't think I've ever seen him so excited. I think everything is going to turn out okay. Now, and it's all thanks to you. Keep me looking out for Ani, okay? Hell yeah, he's my little bug buddy. Alright. Woo. So we got that done. We did some cooking. Let's see. I don't think I got any more seeds ready. Let's go ahead and put things in our storage bin to sell. Let's go to crops, and we're just gonna sell all of our plain stuff. Don't forget to take a carrot for Bondru. We'll take a star one to him. Potato, wheat, rice, and then let's put like 10 star carrots in here. I want to see what what are they what's the money makers, huh, guys? I prefer potatoes; they have higher profit. Cook a fisherman's brew for sale is okay too. Slightly higher profit, but more work. Thank you. Potatoes are a lot better, actually. I made an Excel sheet. That's dedication. That is dedication. Last Excel sheet. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's go back to crops. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of tomatoes. Apparently the star tomato seeds are good, but the potatoes are better. Always turn it into seeds before selling. Okay. Tomatoes grow faster. Oh. They're going crazy. Mm -hmm. Arguments about what to sell. These star potatoes are pretty valuable, though. And if the seeds are worth more. Mm -hmm. Maybe I know about a new money-making enterprise. Um, but yeah, the community in this game is also really nice. Like, you're not- you don't have to be constantly talking to people, obviously, and I- I don't, but when I see someone who needs help, or if I need help, you can just ask a question in the server and people are 
really happy to answer and help you out. And there's no, like, PvP or anything, so, like, you don't gotta worry about people really being, like, dicks. I haven't run into anyone who's mean or anything. And you actually <coughs> need to work with people sometimes, um, for these little flow tree things, um, to get, like, flow-infused planks that you need. But, I digress. Let's go talk to Badru. Oh, let me out. Oh. And let's give him a nice carrot. Also, you can see that there's no hunger bar or anything on the screen. Um, so the reason we make food is to up our focus, which helps us level up faster when we are doing different activities. So that little eyeball in the top left next to like the cooking icon at the moment, that's how much focus we have in our focus shmita. Let's go talk to Badru. Oh yeah, isn't the game so pretty? She's kind of gorgeous. She's kind of everything. I've been having a lot of fun. Usually I'm not super into grindy games, but honestly, this one has just had me hooked. I don't know what it is. Coming up on our farmer guy over here. Just a cricket. Alright. Badru! Did you know you can make your tools stronger by reinforcing them with iron? How's that for a bit of irony? Oh! <laughs> Some days I feel like an egg because I just crack myself up. Anyways, I've got a new recipe with your name on it. Gotta love Badru. I love his little dad jokes. So we can get a fine watering can. Uh, holds more water than the standard can. And waters up to nine crops at once. Ooh. I think I'm gonna wait on it though. Because, I don't know. The watering can upgrades are just kind of schmeh to me. Thanks for helping out Delilah with her jams for the county fair. Now I know who to count on when I'm in a jam related jam. Hell yeah. Okay, give him a nice carrot. Thanks, I should be able to whip up a real face with this. Or if I fail, I can always blame it on you for delivering low quality produce. I gave you a star carrot, you better not. Oh, you know I'm just kidding around. I'm sure your gardening skills beat my cooking skills any day. Let's take my right. bananas and feel out. Let us do so. Well then let's go around and chat with our other village neighbors as to build our relationships. Now, Tamala lives in Bahari Bay, which is another part of the little world. We have to go through like a little portal to get there. It's a little walkway, but you know, it, it does a loading screen in between. Um, also, this is, is this Tisha's house? No, this isn't Tisha's house. Tish's house is this one. Oh, who's walking? Okay, this is Sifu. Let's go talk to her. I've got the best metal you'll find. Anything I can lend you a hand with? <laughs> I was just talking about my first forge. I filled up my parents' oven with coal, plaster, and sand. I got the dang thing all the way to 3,000 degrees. <laughs> After they saw the fire damage, they set me up with a real smithy in the shed. That's I'm good. Starved. Don't want to burn down the house. Let's see. Let's go around and get all checked in. Let's see who's going to be heading there. Let's go to the inn and see who's about. It is nice 11 a.m. Wrath! I, I totally wasn't sleeping. I see that look on your face. Up to no good, aren't you? Huh? Gina gave me an ancient recipe she found. It's called, it called for an egg to be buried in the sand for a few days. But it made no mention of jotting down where said egg was buried. So yes, I lost a few eggs somewhere by the lake. Good talk. Typical ref. Sure is not around here. Let's see. Gel? Hello, Gel. Yes. Are you here for a wardrobe refresh? Mm. Do you like my latest collection? I was inspired by the color of autumn leaves. 
It's strange how sometimes death can be just as captivating as life. I must get back to my work. Yeah, that is wild. Well, mere. We're blurry. <laughs> Alright, let us go into Zeki's. Zeki! Talk to me, buddy. Zeki's got the best deals in Bahari. The more you spend, the more you get back. Trust me, that's just how the world works. I heard from Badri, you've got a green thumb. With his sense of humor, I'm surprised he wasn't being literal. So true. Anyway, if you've got any veggies you'd like to be sell, I'd be happy to take them off your hands. That's enough dilly dally. Alright, Zek. I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. Let's see. Tish, are you in here? Yes. Hello, gorgeous. Life in the valley is peaceful, isn't it? Do you like the furniture? I made most of the pieces myself. My family comes from a long line of carpenters, going all the way back to the time of the first council. Next time, right. let's talk tables. Sure, Tish. Anything for you, girlie. Library. Calorie. Did you need something? I remember you like history books. I just got a new volume in on the Umbered War I think you'll find intriguing. I apologize if you don't like the picture on your library card. But sadly, I must insist there are no retakes. Oof. That reminds me, I need to grab my library card from storage and see if I can get in there. But does she like give you a key? Well, it's probably a level 3 thing to get in there. Alright. Let's see, who else do we need to speak to? I think we've kind of talked to most people. Let's see, is Hossian over here with Tao? He is. Alright. Hello. What do you need now? Be conscious of your surroundings. Mm. I saw you strike a Cernuck the other day. Congratulations. Just be sure to find a good use for the horns. It takes over 50 years for a Cernuck to grow horns like that. You wouldn't want them to go to waste. So that true, Hossian. So true. Oh yeah. And what did you have? A fine bow? I got the arrow recipe. Okay. And then Tao. Oh, no. It. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to the dog. Back Thank to you. My woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. I'm happy to see you, too. Arf, arf, arf. Gotta love talking to Tao. Bonnie. How are you feeling, bud? Do you have any cool stories to share? Hiya. Huh? How would you like sharing a room with a snoring Ormu? That's what it's like sharing a room with a room with Nao. That's why I prefer to camp. I got even more fun Respect. For I know what it's like sleeping next to a snoring Ormu. Let me tell you. Alright, let's see. Who else can we talk to? We can go. Oh, let's run into Hodari while he's here. I don't have the iron he wants at the moment, but we can have a little chat. There's a Louisa. Copper. Oh, Dari, my dude. Huh? You're talking to me? <laughs> Any luck on that iron? We're working on it. I've got almost enough. Oh, Back to nice it. chat, nice chat. And then, let's see. We could talk to you. Can we? And Kenyatta is Kenley and Ash's daughter. And Kenley here is the mayor. Oh, time for a break. Nice of you to stop by. I could use a break. Every year, I eat the same thing for my birthday. A steaming plate of longevity noodles straight off the frying pan. Longevity noodles? Longevity noodles are a must-have on special occasions like your birthday. The noodles symbolize a long life. You must never cut or break apart the noodles before you eat them. In accordance with tradition, I've eaten that every year since I was born. That's why I've been able to live such a long and healthy life. Sounds good, Kenley. Would you like some... 
soup? Oh, well, um, yes, thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. What do you actually want this week, though? You know what? I did get one of those, but, you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. The quest is complete, but we're not at level 3. I don't know how we manage that one. Alright, and Esh, are you out here? No. Where are you, darling? Did we already talk to you? I don't remember. Hello, Kenyatta. Esh! <coughs> ever so needy. Unlike most people, I can't afford to dawdle for too long. Lady Kenyara Bahari, Kenley's foul sister, is the Duchess of the Bahari province. Kenley was the rightful Duke of Bahari, but somehow Kenyara managed to snatch the title out from under him. And out from under me as well. Okay, yes, okay. Someone's a little salty. Alright. Woo! Wrong button. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Delilah's making her way into town. Boop, boop. There she is. Delilah. You're as sweet as apple jam. Happy you returned. I missed our chats. Don't tell Badru, but sometimes I like to sneak off to the library when I'm going to the store and read naughty novels. Ooh. I know he wouldn't mind me taking a wee break. But there's something about keeping it a secret that feels exciting. Respect, Delilah. Respect. Of course not, Delilah. Let's see. I think the only person in Kilima, which is the place we are right now, to talk to is Ashura. So let's make our way over to him. Boop, boop, boop. Ashura. How's it Hello hanging? There, Another beautiful day in the valley. I don't mean to impose, but can I ask if you've ever lost anyone? In the death sense? Not really. But let's say a friend. I know how you feel. My, my, my wife was also the best friend a man could ask for. Sometimes I wish I had a best friend around to talk about what happened to my wife, but I don't. I suppose that's the downside to having one person play two very important roles like that. Very right, true. Let's see. Ooh, you'll be at the top, actually. What do you want, a sweet leaf? I don't got any on me. I got some in storage, though. Alright, now we will take a run to Bahari Bay. Let me see. What does our lady want? Okay, we've gotten her her wants. I don't know if we can give her another gift yet. And then Nayuma, we got her the thing she wants. Okay, so those are the two girlies we're gonna go see. Nayuma and Tomoa. And those girlies are in Bahari Bay. Let's go ahead and slurp our soup up, and then let's take a sprint over to Bahari Bay. There's also little teleports around, so like you can fast travel from the stables, uh, but it does cost a little bit of money. So we're just going to run over there, and I'll probably just uh, come back once we're at the gate to Bahari, so you don't just have to watch me. Running amok. Oh, actually, oh, Chain, are you over here? No, Chain's over there. Okay, we'll talk to Chain later. Alright, so now we are at the gate to Bahari Bay. And we will go ahead and enter. Ooh. Now let's head over to Nayuma first. 
And if we see any iron on the way there, maybe we can complete the Hodari quest. Well, let's see. Iron. Nyuma, how are you doing? Not a lot of people hey there. Are. Ugh, Dad keeps telling me it isn't safe for me to go into the mines. But how do I learn proper safety techniques if he doesn't even let me try? What? Yeah, Odari's really protective. If you're looking for presents for my dad, he really likes antler decor. Ugh, I kinda wish I didn't say that. I think that antlers everywhere look is pretty tacky. But we can talk later. Yeah, kinda lame if you ask me. Let's see, there's Hodari. Any iron around? Oh, hello, silly Jean. Alright, well. I don't see any iron super close by. No, that doesn't have iron, that's just rock. More rock. Alright, we've gotta go into the mines to get to Miss Tamala, cause she is across the map. And these mines are kind of confusing. Here is where we would need to fish for that void ray. But let's go speak with Tamala. Hello, crabs. I don't know if Tamala would like a crab. But you know who does like crabs? Einar. He loves little fishy and crabby boys. Let's see. But here's a look at some of Hari Bay. This is the flooded fortress. Very pretty. But yeah, Bahari's got a little bit of a different vibe than Killua. As you can see. A little more variety in the wildlife and such. But yeah. And in this game, we're a human, and the rest of the people are like Majiri or Grimokin. Um, and we just appeared out of like some smoke. And here is Miss Tamala. Isn't she everything? She's gorgeous. Little Milfy. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Did you craft a potion of invisibility? Did you know your people were said to have possessed great power? Tales tell that they could even defeat death, if you can believe it. Well, I don't know, I don't see a lot of us around. Toodles, <laughs> Toodles indeed. Just got a little chat. Alright. Now let's look for some iron and complete the Hodari quest. And then it's probably been a good amount of time. And we'll end after getting Hodari his iron. There's a nice iron deposit. In case the rocks with little black chunkies. And you'll see people calling out different materials. Those are like the rare materials, the pallium, um, and then usually people will call out flow trees. Nine iron ore. That was a f chunky iron deposit. So let's go to Odari. Take a run back. And you can see that Cerna. These two Zernux look a little different than the ones we have been running across, as just that Choppa. Um, and these guys are like the leveled up ones. So we can- I can show you what it's like to hunt them. And there you have it. That's hunting in the game. And you can see the first arrow I used was the slow down arrow, and then, you know. Then you just gotta- Hit them from there. But yeah, and then they'll run. And you gotta chase them down. 
but I'm happy I got that set of antlers because some people like them as gifts and, uh, you know. They're not the most common thing to get. Grab those. Grab some sweet leaf while we're over here. The sweet leaf, as far as I know, only grows in Bahari. Alright. Might as well take this guy too and hopefully he drops some antlers. Where did you go? Am I crazy? Oh, there you are. Nice. Alright. And from what I can gauge, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter where you hit them. It just takes a certain amount of hits depending on the type of arrow you're using. So I'm using the arrows that are one step above the... Uh, just the base arrow that you get. At this point I can make the fine arrows, but I think they take iron and I don't got a butt ton of iron, but here's another iron deposit. So let's go ahead and grab that on our way back to Hodari. Nice, alright. Got plenty of iron ore to fulfill our quest here. Alright, Hodari. Alright. I got the iron. Thanks. I would have gotten it myself, but other things been taking up a lot of my time lately. Trust me, I don't make it a habit of looking for handouts. I'm happy to help. Now if only Nayuma would listen to me for once. Here, should cover the cost of materials. Well, thank you, Hodari. Do you want an egg? Oh, you do like these. Okay, Cerna. Thanks. This will look mighty fine in my sitting room. Sorry, Nayuma. Gonna have another set of antlers. Alright. And our little home icon flash. So maybe we have something waiting for us at home. So, we do have a fast travel to home, which is very nice. I usually save it for Bahari Bay. There's a cooldown on it. I think it's like 15 or 20 minutes. So you can't just like spam going home. But I like to save it for when I go to Bahari Bay. Nayuma, what did you need, love? What are you doing? Um, hi. I know it's kind of weird to just show up here, but maybe you can help. Help is one of my many middle names. Uh, is it? How many middle names do humans have? Uh, never mind. That's not important. The mine's haunted. Say no more. I'll get my salt. You believe me? Thanks. You're the first person. I knew it was a good idea to come here. Dad won't listen to me. He says there's no such thing as ghosts. Could you talk to him? Maybe if it comes from an adult, he'll actually hear it for once. Well, damn girl, I wish you would have told me when I was already there. <sighs> anyway, alright. So, I think we will go ahead and end this video here. It was really nice to show you guys around this game that I am really enjoying. Um, just let me know if you think you would be interested in seeing some streams in the future of maybe this game and others. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and give this video a like if you liked watching it. Uh, comment down below your favorite villager and if you'd like to see some streams maybe in the future. Um, future uploads probably aren't going to be, um, I can't think of the word, but you know, what you're seeing now, we're not going to like start off where we left off because I am going to be playing this game in the background. I just can't stop that grind. Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and I will see you guys in the next video.